Okay, welcome to English with Tom. Today uh, we are starting a new playlist, uh, micro listening. So micro means small. Uh, so what is it? So micro listening is challenging. It is difficult, but it improves your English listening skills, especially listening to authentic, real, fluent English. So if you have to speak to really good speakers at work, at school, or if you like to watch English TV shows or movies, it's often very hard to pick out what people are saying because they have different accents, different vocabulary, and they're speaking quickly, right? Or American English, British English, there's so many. So this playlist is going to practice listening to those. First, we have uh, Irish accents, the Irish English accent with Maeve Higgins. So this clip is from the Adam Buxton podcast with Irish comedian Maeve Higgins. In this clip, she is talking about being on a panel show on Irish TV. So, what you have to do is listen to this clip and try and pick out what she is saying. Um, you can use a pen and paper, make notes. We're going to listen to it three times. Um, difficult, medium and easy. This here is the most difficult. You have no words to help you. Medium. We'll play it again, and there'll be some words to help. And then easy, uh, there'll be more words to help you. So if this is too difficult, skip ahead to the medium or uh, easy listening. First, let's try it. Let's challenge ourselves. Listen carefully. She's speaking in an Irish accent. Can you get what she is saying? Ready? Let's go. Because what I really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say, mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist. Okay. One more time. Let's do one more time at the hard setting. Because what I really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say, mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist. Okay, pause the video, maybe go back, listen again, finish your notes. Okay, if that was too difficult or you want a little bit of help, medium. Okay, you can see here, some words are here to help you. Let's try again. Because what I really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say, mm -hmm. or even maybe like, Repeating it if there's a new panelist. One more time. Because what I really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say, mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist. Okay. Again, pause the video, listen again if you like. And if not, let's do it for the easiest round okay so still there are some words missing listen carefully can you pick them out because what i really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist last time because what i really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist okay let's have a look at the answers if you're not ready for the answers um go back have a listen again here are the answers because what i really like doing on that show is also like building off what other people say or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist Let's listen again with her Irish accent. 
because what I really like doing on that show is also like building off of what other people say mm -hmm. or even maybe like repeating it if there's a new panelist. Okay, there you go. Micro listening. Um, so micro listening is difficult, but it's it's just like real life. If you meet people, they're going to have lots of different types of accents. Um, so it's good training. Uh, what I recommend is to go back again, listen again, and try to think about, notice what was difficult. Uh, was it her accent? Was it the speed? What made it difficult? Which words were connected? So linking, all the types of connected speech, weak forms. And what sounds were different to what you're used to? Maybe you're used to American English or British English. Maybe your teacher, your English teacher in school or university has a different kind of accent. So what was different? What made this different? Okay. If you want to listen to the rest, I put the link in the description to listen to the Adam Buxton podcast episode with Maeve Higgins. And yeah, try some micro listening with other short sound clips. Check out uh, YouTube um, or anything, really. And there will be more uh, videos from me. We're going to look at Scouse, Cockney, some American accents, maybe. Um, yes. All right. Thank you so much. Leave a comment if that was useful. Or if there's a type of accent you'd like to train, you'd like to try micro listening with, put it in the comments and I will hopefully make a video. Okay, everyone. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.